Hi, Miss Fox. Our friends are back today. Should we begin? Today is another day of working with numbers to five, except I'm going to teach you how to graph them. Before we get started, let me pour myself a cup of tea and I'll meet you at my desk. For this activity, make sure to have your two containers of cubes already prepared as well as your dry erase board and marker. And then we can begin. For our lesson today, we are going to learn how to graph. But before we can do that, I'm going to teach you how to make your own graph. So get your whiteboard and your marker and let's begin. We will do our best to make our lines straight, but if they're a little crooked, that's okay. Ready? To make our graph, we're going to make four lines straight down. Watch me and then copy them. One, two, three, four. Can you make four lines like that at home? Now, we're going to make our lines go across. We are going to make six lines. Ready? Let's do our best to make them as evenly spaced apart as possible. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Do all of my lines touch? No. So I'm going to use my marker and just fill them in. If you need to do that at home, go right ahead. There, we did it. Now you made your board, but I want you to watch me as I graph for the first time and then it will be your turn to graph. I'm going to pour out my bears. I see red bears, blue bears, and even green bears. Let's start with my red bears. I'm going to always start from the bottom square and put one bear in each square. And then I'm going to pick my next color. I'll do green. Always start in the bottom square. And my last color is blue. Do I start in the top? No, always start in the bottom square. I did it. I graphed all of my bears, but we're not done. Let's count how many bears we have. How many red bears can you count? One, two, three, four. How many green bears are there? One. And how many blue bears can you see? One, two. Good job. Now I have a question for you. Which color bear is there the most of? Tell your teacher what you think. Yep, there are more red bears. Which color bear is there the least of? Yep, green. There's only one green bear. Here's a tricky question. How many more blue bears are there than green bears? Can you tell your teacher? Did you say one? You're right. These two are the same but there is one more blue bear. So we say there is one more blue bear than green bears. We did it. It's time to clean up my bears and let's use our cubes together. Mm -hmm. 
For our next activity, we get to do it together. I want you to grab your container of red, blue, and green cubes, and we'll spill them out together. Here's my container. Ready? Let's spill them out. Oh, I'm gonna stand mine up, and just by looking at our cubes, can you tell which color we might have the most of? Let's see if we're right. Let's start with the red. So grab your red cubes and let's graph them in the first column. Remember, always start at the bottom. Here are my reds. Let's do blue. Blue. And let's finish with our green cubes. Remember, always start at the top. No, at the bottom. Put one in each square. We did it. Now looking at our cubes, can you tell which one we have the most of? Did you say green? Is that what you guessed before? You're right. How do you know we have the most greens? Tell your teacher what you think. I think we have the most greens because it goes all the way to the top and the others don't. Is that what you thought too? Good. Let's count how many greens we have. Always start counting from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. We have five green cubes. Let's count our blue. One. And let's finish with our red. One, two, three. We have three red cubes. Is that what you have at home too? I have a question for you. How many more green squares are there than blue squares? Can you tell your teacher the answer? What did you say? Did you say four? You're right. These two are the same, but I have one, two, three, four more green squares than blue squares. Let's do the same thing, but with red. Let's compare our red and green. How many more green squares are there than red squares? What did you say? Two? You're right. These are the same, but I have two more green squares than red squares. Can you think of another question you can ask your teacher about our graph? Let's do it again. If you haven't cleared your board, go ahead and take off your cubes and then let's grab our next container of red, orange, and blue cubes. Ready? Let's spill them out. Just like we did before, let's stand them up. And can you tell by looking which cubes we might have the most of? This one could be a little tricky. We might have to graph them to find our answer. So let's start. Let's start with orange. I'm going to put my orange one in each square. And then blue. Let's grab our blue and put him in the middle. And our last color, red. Remember to always start at the bottom. Now look at our graph. Can you tell which one we have the most of now? Huh, do we have one that is the most? No, we have two that are exactly the same. How many orange and blue cubes do we have? Let's count. One, two, 
three, four. Yep, we have four blue cubes and four orange cubes. They are exactly the same. No wonder why it was so hard to tell how much we had when we first dumped them out. How many more blue squares and orange squares are there than red squares? Can you tell your teacher? Did you say two? You're right. These are the same, but the blue squares and the orange squares have two more squares than the red squares. Can you think up of any other sentences you can tell about our graph? Talk about it with your teacher at home. Now it's time to work in our math book and we will do the look and talk together. Turn in your book to lesson 2.5 so your page looks just like mine. Ready? Let's get started. Look at our graph and I see Stacy and she has dolls, a scooter, and a kite. Can you tell your teacher how many dolls Stacy has by looking at our graph? Yep. One, two, three, four. Stacy has four dolls. How many scooters does Stacy have? Yep, one. And how many kites does Stacy have? One, two. Good job. Now, let's think of some more ways we can talk about our graph. How many more dolls does Stacy have than kites? We practiced that before. Can you tell your teacher the answer? Yeah. Did you say two? You're right. Remember how I showed you to figure it out? These two are the same. And there's two more. So Stacy has two more dolls than kites. Let's compare dolls and scooters. How many more dolls does Stacy have than scooters? Tell your teacher what you think. What did you say? Three? Good job. You're right. Let's look. These two are the same, and there's one, two, three more. Good job. What is the other toy that we can compare? Kites. Let's compare kites and scooters. How many more kites does Stacy have than scooters? Yep, one is right. Good job. Miss Fox, did you have fun with us today? I always think it's fun when we get to graph. Before we go, we have one question to ask you. What do you wonder about today? See you next time.